Hey creative friends, it's Gwen. What's super inexpensive and comes in a huge variety of patterns and colors? Washi tape, and I'm willing to guess that you have quite the stash. No doubt it probably started with just one or two rolls, but over time it seemed to have grown all by itself, just like the laundry. I'm on a mission to use up my washi tape stash and I thought you might be too. So in today's video, let's chat all things washi and some practical ways that you can use it up. Here's a look at my current stash and how I store them. I have very recently upgraded to this three drawer unit and I love it. If you're looking for something just like this, there is a link in the description box below. I currently store them by manufacturer and by collection, but I am thinking about changing that up. I feel like I would get more use out of them if I stored by color. I have also very recently found this very handy device that actually cuts your washi tape. So if you're looking for a really clean straight cut every time, you can use this little doodad to do that. I'll pop details for that below too. So in my collection, I do have a wide variety of widths and styles. This one here is like a sticker roll that's made of washi tape. And then I have the traditional styles in lots of different widths. Some of them are really, really wide, several inches wide. And then I have the super thin variety. And I'll get to the different uses for that as we go along in the video. Can you guess which one's my favorite? Yes, it is this one because I'm all about them bows. There are so, so many ways that you can use up your washi tape stash. I'm using a lot of examples for scrapbookers, but you can convert these techniques if you're a card maker or you enjoy junk journaling. The first idea that I have for you is to create a frame for your page. This is an excellent way to use up quite a lot of washi tape. This technique is actually easier if you're using a wider style tape. And what you wanna do is run the tape down all four edges of your 12 by 12 inch cardstock. I like to overlap it and have it wrap around the edge. I feel like the finish is much nicer when you do it that way. You can then trim off any excess and add a second sheet of cardstock on top. I've trimmed a quarter of an inch off all four sides and I will add a stitched edge as an extra detail. The second idea that I have for you is a similar take on this first one and that is to create a photo mat. What you'll need to do first is find a scrap piece of cardstock that you're going to use as your photo mat and then you can apply your washi around all four sides. I really love to combine these first two ideas on a layout because it not only gets gets rid of almost an entire roll of washi tape, using the tape in multiple places really helps the layout feel put together. I've made a couple of layouts now where I've really focused on using up washi on a single layout. I'll be sure to link them below. You might also know that as I'm working with a slightly thinner washi tape for this idea, I have not wrapped it around the edge. I've just lined it up with the edge of the paper. The next idea that I have to share is another really good one for using up a lot of washi all at once. I'm going to team it with some pattern paper and create a layout background. The easiest way to do this is to add it in stripes. So I have one stripe of washi on the far left hand edge of the page and then another one on the far right hand side. I'm then gonna come in around three and a half inches from one side and lay down another strip. It's very important that everything is nice and straight. So be sure to use something like a T-square ruler and take your time and line everything up really well. It's time to add in your pattern paper. You want a strip that's wide enough to fill the gap between the two stripes on the left and then a thinner one to balance out the right hand side. I have not provided you with exact measurements here for a reason. This idea is super flexible. You can use any widths you like. This next idea is one of my favorites. Did you know that you can use washi tape with your paper punches? Simply add onto any scrap cardstock and then punch it out like you normally would. Here I'm using a tab punch and I'm actually going to create a bunch of little tabs that I can use as embellishments for my layout. 
This idea does work best with wider tape, but if you only have the standard size, don't worry because I've used that as well. I just make sure to punch it nice and straight and leave that little white strip at the bottom. If you ever notice that your washi is losing some of its stick, did you know that you can add it to strips of cardstock and then store it like that? It's a great way to save any of that tape that might be going bad. You can share it with friends and you can use it for this next idea. I'm going to create a textured background by taking one of the strips and trimming it into smaller pieces. I'm then going to layer them onto a piece of scrap card and as I'm layering I do want to overlap them slightly. I am just adding them onto the card with my ATG tape and then I'm going to ruffle up the edges and give that edge a little bit of texture. The next idea I have for you is super simple. Did you know you can use washi to add extra detail to your paper layers? So I am going to build a little cluster here and I'm starting with a plain white piece of card. I want to add a little bit of extra detail down that left hand side edge. So I'm just adding in a strip of washi tape. In this example, it acts as an anchoring point on the left, but you'll see here in a moment that you can add it into all of your paper layers. I'm using a different design this time and I'm going to run it horizontally across the page so you can see how you can mix and match this idea. In fact, you can mix and match all of these ideas and combine them to really dive deep into your washi tape stash. I have another super simple idea for you and that is to create some DIY photo corners. Simply cut your mat to size and then add pieces of washi across all four corners. I found the easiest way to get the alignment right is to start in the very corner of the photo mat. The very edge of the washi tape needs to sit exactly in that corner. Next up I'm going to use washi to help me create a pocket. So I've started with a simple journaling card and then cut a strip of cardstock that's the width of the card and then folded that in half. Time to add in the washi tape and I'm going to use that to seal up the two open edges. The first strip will be visible. The second one I am actually going to tuck underneath the journaling card so it won't be so noticeable. Now professional scrapbooker that I am it was at this point that I realized that I wanted to cut a little notch in the top there just to make it easier to slide a tag in and out I should have done that before I sealed up that bottom edge. Be sure you don't repeat my silly mistake. I hope you've enjoyed the tip so far and let me know which one's been your favorite. This next one is super handy. Have you ever made a layout with a flip up element? Well, you can use washi to create a little handle. It's as easy as adding two similar size pieces onto the edge of the flap. These next two ideas are for customizing embellishments. Did you know that you can add washi over the top of wooden embellishments? When the embellishment is wider than your tape, you can simply run it down one side. Be sure to press it on really well, then take your fussy cutting scissors and trim to the edge. This idea works works best with simple shapes and if you wanted to add an extra detail you can add a layer of glossy accents. The next idea I have for you starts with a simple paper clip. Let's customize it by taking one of the thinner washi tapes and threading that through one end. Make sure the tape is nice and even and then fold it back onto itself. You can then cut a cute little banner in the end and attach it to any of your paper layers. Isn't that cute? On to the next idea and this one is for the washi tapes that have cute little icons on them. With a little bit of practice and patience you can fussy cut these elements out and add them as embellishments onto your layouts. This works super well with tape like this one which is a bunch of printed butterflies but it also works with a tape like this one. In fact the wider the tape and the larger the icons the easier it is for you to fussy cut them out. So keep a lookout for these style tapes because they can make for very inexpensive embellishments. My next idea takes this very simple office supply, 
to the next level. All you need to do is run a strip of washi across the top of the bulldog clip. You will need to be mindful of the color of the tape that you use. There is a little bit of trial and error here, but generally speaking, add light colored washi to light colored bulldog clips and save your dark designs for these black ones. You can create a bunch of these in advance and have them ready to go to attach to your next paper craft project. My next idea is for those of you who like to use mixed media. Did you know that you can color your washi tape with alcohol based products? I'm using Copic markers here, but you could also use alcohol inks. This idea works best on the washi tape that you have that has a pale or white background. It's a great way to customize the washi tape to your specific project. Another really fun idea is to use it to create an interactive flap. If you'd like to add hidden journaling onto any project, you can create a little flap like this and tuck away those special thoughts. The tape is strong and flexible, so it makes for a really great hinge. You can also use washi tape with your dies to create customized embellishments. I'm simply layering down the washi tape in strips to create an area that I can die cut. Take the time to line up the design as best you can. This will give you a seamless look when you're done. For this embellishment, I've cut out two different sized floral elements and I'm simply going to layer them on top of each other. A little bonus tip here too, if you have trouble getting your paper out of your dies, simply drop them onto your desk. Most of the time they just fall out. If you use your Sizzix die cutting machine a lot, you'll love this next tip. Washi tape is great for holding dies in place before cutting. It works especially well for smaller dies and may just save you from having to buy one of those expensive magnetic plates. A simple washi tape background like this one makes a really great background for a card. I've cut a piece of plain white cardstock to fit my card base and then I'm going to layer strips of the washi tape across the card. I am taking care when placing the design because I want it to look a little bit like pattern paper. This particular technique also works really really great with geometric prints. Trim off the excess with your scissors and then we can get playing with some dies. I've pulled out these simple scallop circles and I'm going to center one on my background. I also get two for one with this idea because I can use this part of the background on one card and this part on another. Not sure what to do with this super thin washi tape? Well, you can use it for journaling lines. I've cut a journaling block from some card and then added the lines using my T-square ruler. My next idea adds extra detail to these fun tags that you might use for your projects. You can also use this idea on any gift tag, perfect for the Christmas season. Simply find a coordinating washi tape from your stash and apply to the gift tag. You can wrap it around the entire tag or you can trim off the edges with your scissors. Have you ever been stuck with pattern papers that didn't quite cover your project? Have you ever needed to join two papers together? Washi tape is great for this. It not only covers the join, but it adds extra detail and dimension to your project without adding bulk. I use this idea all of the time. It is so good if you are trying to use up your paper scraps. My next idea is another DIY embellishment. All you'll need is some thin string and a roll of washi tape. Start in the center of the string with a small strip of washi tape. Fold it over against itself to secure. Keep an eye on your spacing as you go and work your way out to the ends of the string. I have another banner idea for you. This one is a little more substantial. I'm starting with some paper strips and I am gonna punch a little flag in the ends. If you haven't seen this idea, you might wanna check out my punches video. I shared a bunch of ideas to get the most out of your punches and this idea was one of them. I'll leave a card to that video right here. 
So I've created the paper flags and I'm going to add a little strip of washi as a decorative touch. Super, super cute. You can also use washi to make your own pattern paper. Choose three or four coordinating designs and then layer them up onto a scrap piece of cardstock. I'm working on a very small sample size here, but you could recreate this look with a full 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I wanted to show you here too, you don't need to cover the full sheet of cardstock you can leave areas showing through and that just really adds to the look for best results use three different styles of washi tape in different widths the next idea that I have for you is to mask off your mixed media. Washi tape is a great way to mask off sections when working with ink. I'm working with Distress Ink Mini Cubes here and I'm just laying the ink down and as you can see, that edge is super, super crisp. I've chosen a bolder color this time around and I'm using an ink dauber and you can really see the crisp line that you get by masking with washi tape. Washi tape is also great for holding masks and stencils in place. I find that it is repositionable as well. So if you are working in a large area, you can easily move the mask around your page, no problem. I've saved my best ideas till last and this one's a favorite. Washi tape is a great way to secure any machine stitching that you've done on your projects. Did you know that you can use washi tape to help Help organize your stash. It's great for labeling plastic boxes and bins. And my favorite part, if you change your mind, you can easily remove it to change things up. So you now have plenty of ways that you can use up your stash, but imagining what these ideas will look like on a layout can be tricky. If you wanna see them in action, you need to watch this video next. It's time to pull out your washi tapes and come create with me. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.